Relative Time Analysis and Cognos Analytics. How to set up this powerful feature and how to best use it on today's episode of Super Data Brothers. All right, so we're gonna be working today from the Great Outdoors Data Module. This ships with Cognos Analytics and the samples. You should all have access to this. Okay, when I go ahead and open it up, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add relative dates in here compared to past versions of Cognos or other BI tools. Now to set the stage, just so you all understand what we're looking to do, what we're trying to be able to do is analyses like compare current month versus previous month or year to date versus previous year to date. In my experience, these types of analyses are useful across all uh, lines of business, but especially if you're working with finance, it's just th those people eat this up, okay? So how do we do it in Cognos? It's really simple. What you're gonna wanna do in the Great Outdoors data module is click add sources and tables and then add new sources. Now you're gonna to migrate to the, or navigate rather, to the calendars folder, should be at the top level of team content. And then inside of there, you're gonna to wanna to grab the fiscal calendar, okay? Take fiscal calendar. Now you notice that that added a new table to our data module and it's kind of grayed out and it has a different icon. Now, what does this mean? This is what's called a linked table. It means that we're importing this fiscal calendar table from a different data module. So it's, it's kind of, they're linked together. Any changes we made in the fiscal calendar would flow through to here, but that's not really important for today's analysis. Once we've done this, you can go ahead and look inside of sales and grab order date, okay? You can see order date here in the grid. Now, look in the properties of order date Expand those properties and look down here where you see lookup reference. Lookup reference is, is the key to unlocking this relative date analysis. So you're gonna to wanna to click on that and then choose fiscal calendar, okay? And just by doing that, if I come over here to order date and expand this column, you'll see I've got all of these filters pre-made for me. So these are the out of the box filters. You can actually edit this to give you different relative time filters if that's what you're interested in. But the out of the box ones cover a lot of important scenarios. And you can see some of the things I was talking about in here, right? I've got year to date. I've got prior year to date. These are the types of analyses we just unlocked by simply clicking that button. And I'm gonna show you how these actually work in the context of dashboards in a minute. But before we do that, I wanna show you the kind of the next level of analysis that you can do here which is if you then go down and look at revenue, you'll notice in the properties of revenue, we also have a lookup reference available. So I want you to click on this lookup reference and choose sales.order date. This is the date that we just were working on. So you first do the lookup reference on a date. Once the lookup reference is done on a date, you can now do it on a measure and it will do the same thing. It unlocks all of these relative time measures that we can use in our analysis. So it's that easy. You don't have to write any calculations. You don't have to use any OLAP technology, nothing like that. You just come in here. It's maybe five or six total clicks and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we'll go back to our content. And let's take a look here, uh, content. And you can see if we look in the Super Data Brothers folder here in Relative Dates, this is the data module I was just editing. So let's build a dashboard on top of this and see how this stuff works, okay? So create dashboard. Uh, we'll make it really simple here. And to show you how this analysis functions, we're gonna go ahead and insert a, say, a line chart. Um, so line chart, drag and drop that onto the canvas. Make this nice and big so we can all see how it looks. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to nest a year or month rather, I'm gonna put on the x-axis. Oh, not on color, let's drag and drop up here to x-axis. And now on the y-axis, I'm gonna grab from the sales folder or sales table rather, say my year to date and prior year to date uh, revenues or current year and, and prior year rather. Let's, let's grab those. Okay. So, uh, current year, I'm going to nest here on the Y axis and let's grab a prior year revenue and nest that on the Y axis as well. Okay. Now here's, you see, we have a problem, right? The chart rendered, but there's nothing on it, right? There's no lines. Why is that? 
Now, this is an important thing for you to understand. Relative time works off the assumption that uh, the, the date we're looking relative to when we understand, okay, what is the current year? That date is today. So it's, it's today is um, July 9th, 2021, okay? That's what we're looking for as today. But the Cogno sample data doesn't go this far forward. It's an old data set and it contains data from like 2009 to 2013 or something like that. So how do we do relative data analysis on periods of data that are in the past? It's actually pretty easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and, and save this and, and we'll give it a, uh, a name. So let's drop it here in, in relative dates and, and we'll call this um, relative date dashboard. Very creative naming here on Super Data Brothers. So we'll save that and now what we wanna do is actually go into the manage menu. Now, if you don't have admin rights, you're not gonna be able to access this menu. So if you don't see the, ad, the manage menu, you're gonna to have to work with a Cognos administrator to get this set up, but it's very easy to do. Under customization, in parameters, you're gonna see the ability to create new parameters used across reports. So you're gonna click the new button and what you wanna type is underscore as, underscore of, underscore date. Okay, it's that simple. Now the instructions for how to do this, I will include in the, uh, in the description of the video. And, and I'll also have a link to the IBM article that walks you through this. Um, but it's really that easy, okay? Now the final thing you wanna do is you wanna look at the properties of this and you wanna say applied to all ro roles if you want everyone in Cognos to be able to do this. If you don't, you can pick and choose which roles are able to interact with the as of date, but my preference is to just give it to everybody. It's useful, why not? Um, okay, now we're good to go. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna have to, in my case, log out and log back in in order for this change to apply because I have to refresh my session, right? So I'll click on here and log out and then just log right back in. And now you can see I have this My Parameters button up here in the corner. This was not here before. And it's got a date. You can change this date to whatever you want, okay? But right now it's set to October uh, 27th in 2011. I could change this to say October 29th, 2011, click apply. This is the as of date that I was talking about earlier. When we do our relative time analysis, relative to what? In this case, it's now relative to October 29th, 2020, 20, <laughs> October 29th, 2011. Um, let me reopen that relative date dashboard. And now you're gonna see here, when the data loads in, there we have our relative dates. So. When you're working with the samples, you're gonna have a hard time working with the, uh, with the relative dates because of the uh, age of the data set. And this is how you get around this and how you give your end users a really powerful way to choose the as of date for their relative date comparison. So they can easily go back in time and say, well, show me year to date as of this particular date three years ago. No problem, you'll, you'll be able to do that for them. Um, so. I hope that you found this useful. I think this is one of the absolute best features of Cognos Analytics. It is so easy to do this compared to other tools that I use. I'm just floored by it. And I find that a lot of people aren't aware that this capability exists. So if you're not using data modules, this is a huge reason to do it. Uh, go out and give it a try with the samples, follow my instructions here, and then find a way to use it in production in your Cognos environment. This is Ryan Dolly from Super Data Brothers. Make sure to Subscribe, click the like button, and I'll see you here next time for more high-level Cognos tips. Take it easy, everybody.